Here we go. Are you ready? I am still ready. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> All right. Hey, this is Burt Middleton with PowderSkiingColorado.com, and I am here at Mount Chavano Ski Shop on the way up to Monarch Mountain with the owner, Tracy Smith, who is a, a ski racer extraordinaire, both on tellies <laughs> and alpines. And uh, these guys here are the holders of the secret of speed <laughs> and we're going to get a glimpse of how they do the waxing and tune the skis for our town challenge and anybody who el anybody else who wants their skis waxed and tuned and, and going fast and so we're going to learn a little bit about the shop and we're going to learn a little bit more about how that waxing happens so tracy <laughs> all right. Um, what what is it all about? Why did you start Mount Chavano Ski Shop? I uh, I grew up ski racing. Uh, uh -huh. I grew up skiing. I started when I was three, and through junior high, high school, I raced on the Loveland ski team at uh, Loveland near uh, Denver, nice. and that was my passion. I just I love skiing. That's all I did. Uh, after that, I went in and instructed for a few years, and then kind of got away from skiing a little bit. Um, uh -huh wanted to get out of the city and into the mountains and we found the ski shop that was for sale. And I thought, oh, that's pretty cool, I could get into that. And uh, so that was 16 years ago and been doing that ever since. The, uh, the local race series that Monarch puts on called the Town Challenge, uh, I got into because my skiing background, I thought, oh, that sounds fun. And uh, started doing that and was doing decently. Um, Ran a couple of years in what they call the A League, so the faster guys, and finished decently in the, the top ten at that time, and then kind of in the top five. Mm -hmm. And then I thought I'm going to try the Tele League because I tellied a little bit, and so I did that. And the, the first couple of years was pretty humbling. It was uh, barely making it into the the group and just hoping to finish. And uh, then I started to feel it out and uh, and figure it out and get faster. And uh, I've won the men's telly seven out of the last nine years I've won it five years in a row and wow. uh, I'm in a, a points <laughs> battle again this year uh, uh -huh. another gentleman and I are two points apart uh -huh. uh, Alpine I've moved from the the A-League to the Masters which means I have hit the big 50 and uh, so everybody's upset with me because I'm the young guy in the Masters class now <laughs> uh, and same well, thing, kind of duking it out with, <laughs> with uh, one other gentleman for the lead there. Uh, uh -huh. but we're having a whole lot of fun uh -huh. and going fast. And so in all of that, uh, we have a lot of our customers that run on the, the Town Challenge. We kind of got the Super Senior League started several years ago, which is our age 62, Social Security eligible uh -huh. or up people. And uh, that's a great league, tons of people that run that. And uh, a lot of them will just come in, they'll do a, uh, one of our programs where they do a rental ski, um, but we'll prep it for them, or they'll bring their own stuff in. We do a lot of prep and get them ready so they can go fast uh, mm -hmm. on Friday. So that's kind of my, uh, uh, my compatriot, Scott, um, sets up all of that stuff. I do my own stuff uh, as far as waxing, edging, keeping it together, and uh, making it go fast. So. Uh -huh. Since cool. yeah. I have a shop, I go ahead and get some exotic waxes and play with that. And sometimes it works good, and sometimes it's it's uh -huh. just okay. And uh, our other stuff, we've been doing waxing for 16 years now. We got it figured out, and uh, can cool. make skis go fast. Well, show us a little bit more about what you do for your skis, and maybe we can get Scott in here. We'll grab him in a second. Yeah. Uh, let me grab one of mine. Okay. I think that's the magic box right there. <laughs> so, it's what I race on most of the time. Yeah. Older ski, but it still goes good. Uh -huh. So I've already prepped the base. Um, so it's dialed in. Edges, I go through and uh, polish, basically, with diamond stones. We go up to, or I go up to about a 1600 grit. Uh, so they're just like they're chrome metal. Sharp smooth is the big thing. After that, so tonight, a little later on, I go to the Magic Box. It's a company called Sun Valley Race Service One is the waxes that I use most of the time and they build a full line of product, um, fluorinated, non-fluorinated. So we'll sit and we'll go online, we'll figure out what the temperature is going to be tomorrow, snow temp, and tonight 
I'll decide, okay, I need to go with this wax or I need to mix these two together. Um, and then there's a few other uh, things. Toco makes a product that's a spray-on that's just a top coat, and I'll put that over just the top. And it lasts two or three runs, so you go up, you slip the course once, you make your couple runs, that's pretty gone, but it's just an accelerant. It gets you out of the, the gate a little bit faster. Huh. Um, this is all done iron waxing. Um, so it's ironed in, it's scraped down, it's brushed out uh, to get back to the structure that we've got on the ski here and then top coated with whatever is going to be appropriate for the time. Um, so it's an involved process. There's a lot to it. I've got my downhill skis, I've got my Kelly skis, and then I'll usually have a backup if we have a nice Monarch powder day, which we may have tomorrow, uh, and have a powder race. I've got some fatter skis to run on then because the narrow race skis don't work then. We just don't have that kind of snow condition, and we'd all rather be powder skiing anyway. Jeez, um, you know, I, I'm starting to see that I don't have a chance here. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got the fat ski, you're dialed on that, and, and, uh, and you have beat me this year, so, you know, uh, obviously whatever you're doing, but uh, we, we have been glad that you brought your stuff by, because I think we've made it relatively fast in there. Yeah. And uh, our other process, we'll try to get Scott uh, here in a minute, yeah. and uh, let him go through that, but... Uh, basically, instead of an iron, we bake in the wax through what we call a hot box. Uh -huh. And it's effectively uh, just a big oven that gets up 120, 130 degrees as far as the overall temperature in it. And then the surface temperature of the ski base gets much hotter because most of the waxes are 180 to 200 as far as their melting temperature. Uh -huh. um, so we roll it on and then it's put in the hot box and it actually bakes it in. So it soaks into the base really well. Uh -huh. Provides a nice smooth finish, and then we've got some a couple of different ways we finish the ski from there, uh, which we can show you on that. Okay, let's let's stop right there and let Scott finish what he's doing, and Perfect. get him back here in a second.